Hey everybody, Michael Fisher here from Pocketnow.com here at Las Vegas, still at CES 2013. And this is the fun part. We're here uh, at Chi, which I just learned how to pronounce. It's not Qui, as we've been mispronouncing it over and over again. But I'm here with Steve from Chi, who's going to answer a few questions for us on um, the, the current state of Chi wireless charging and uh, maybe a little bit about the future. Show us what's, what we've currently got on the market. Yeah, so this area here really is a highlight of the uh, different phones and transmitter pads that we have that are released and available today on the market. So you can see that we have really different phones that are released, such as the uh, the HTCs. Uh, we Joy have DNA there, and then the, the, the Lumia, the, the Nokia Lumia. This is a Bluetooth headset from Nokia. Oh, interesting. We haven't uh, seen that before. Here, here is uh, here are some back covers for the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3. Here are several uh, products that are available in Japan. And you can see some of the different charging pads. These are from Nokia. So you can see different types of designs. Uh, this is a, a Nokia Lumia 920 speaker. We've, got, we've done a video on that one before. I've never used the Fatboy uh, speaker before, but that just... Uh, yeah, this, is, uh, this is uh, basically it. This has this inside it. Just has the standard wireless charging plate inside the pillow there. Okay. Marketing thing. And this is the stand which does the has the same exact function. So we haven't seen much. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. And so there are some other different types of stands here. So uh, you can see uh, from uh, automotive to uh, different types of transmitters. This is one with also a uh, a moving coil. A moving coil. Yeah. You can put your phone anywhere, and it. Uh, so it can kind of up, just um, go anywhere. Oh, look at that. Wow. Can you just catch that? So we, we put it down on here, and the charging zone actually moves to accommodate the phone. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> that's incredible. Is that currently available? Yeah, that's currently available. Yeah. That's from Panasonic? From Panasonic. Which is that? I do not know. Okay. And so, uh, this one here is uh, obviously an alarm a clock of some kind. Yeah. So you just drop your phone right on there. And is there any kind of Bluetooth connectivity built in to communicate with the phone? or? So on, on this product, uh, no, this is just a cloth radio with a charging uh, charging mechanism built in. The WPC doesn't have any data transfer; it's all about power only. I and see. The idea is you know, things like phones already have Bluetooth and NFC and lots of other communications. So, so that's just not at all your department. So we, don't, we don't worry about the communication side. Of it. And, and this is just uh, the, the the core of it is just induction, like EM induction, right? Yeah, it's like a transformer. We have. Instead of the coils being interlinked, they are separate and uh, designed to transfer power. And the key thing about the wireless power consortium is it's designed to be a standard. Mm -hmm. So the idea is there's 130 companies. Whenever you build a, a phone, it works on any, or a transmitter, it works with any receiver, and any receiver works with any transmitter. There are now, uh, I think in Japan, they are rolling out 10,000 different charging stations in uh, uh, next year. In retail establishments in, in and retail things like and that? coffee shops and things. Right. And so the idea is when you uh, you want to, you have a phone, you move, you go to a public area, you want it to work in, uh, in that environment. And uh, with it, like, is this a, this is a portable uh, wireless battery, recharger? Yeah, so it's, you, you charge your uh, battery and then you plug this in later and charge your uh, phone. So it's a little power pack, basically. Oh, I see. Yeah, so you... Uh, oh, yeah. interesting. Okay, all right, all right. But it charges the battery pack and then when you're traveling around, you can... Uh, Charge your uh, battery. It and just plug it in via, yeah. via micro USB. Yeah. There, that's very nice. Uh, very cute. What, what are we going to see uh, this technology evolve to be longer range? So longer range is a good question. I think, uh, to my mind, I think the first challenge with longer range is working with uh, furniture, because today the, the standard is designed to be work with a few millimeters and your five millimeters of Z gap, okay. and uh, which is fine for just placing your phone on the pad. But if you want to upgrade furniture, it means you have to drill a hole in the furniture. So I think improved distance, the first focus is going to be to uh, uh, allow you to bolt uh, a transmitter to the bottom of a table, and then you can charge your, put your phone on top of that table. So over here we have, this is a new version, and this is called Qi Plus, so this is a, or adaptive resonance, this is a new version of wireless charging, so you can put two receivers on the pad, and you can also get, uh, some Z height, this is still charging, so this will allow you to put a transmitter pad underneath the table and like still under charge. Here, so you can just basically, in theory, just throw it yeah, on the yeah, table. Yeah. Without, without having to uh, um, 
to have direct contact. It's direct contact. Is, there, is there a loss of efficiency there in any sense? Yes, the efficiency gets worse with increased with increase It drops with increased distance, even on the ones designed specifically yes. for it. So that's, yeah, that's, so that's one of the other tra the trade-offs. Right. Is this another in-vehicle charger here? Yeah, this is, so there is, you know, the big, you know, the big, uh, I think, interesting market for uh, the, the ecosystem is uh, car charging. So you obviously you have Bluetooth in the car. Right. The ability to charge your, charge your phone is very important. This is a, a prototype system from a Lego plant. Okay. I don't know why it's not working. Made to accommodate pretty much uh, a device up to this size. That's size. And actually Toyota have just announced, the Toyota Avalon have announced a wireless charging in, in their new vehicle. And so that's, that's what this thing over here that's is. This over here. Yeah. Excuse me. So, oh, Gary. so this is the, the console that will be available in the new Toyota Avalon on one of the models. So this is a uh, you're very exciting that you know, they're uh, adopting a you know, first you know, consumer production available version of wireless charging in, in vehicles. It's very exciting. Yes. Now, what's the long long term goal of Qi? Is it is it is it faster charging? Is it like super long range across a room? Is it that? What would you say? So I think the ultimately is cutting the cord on your pe cutting products, the you know, cutting the cord, getting rid of the power, as I think is the primary goal. It's less about distance, it's more around convenience. Uh, I think it, you know, today the focus is very much on consumer cell phones and things, but if you think about uh, other applications like industrial and medical systems, mm -hmm. there you know, there's lots of battery powered applications. And you know, medical, they don't want to have contacts because they want to have a hermetically sealed things. Industrial want to get rid of contacts because of dust and things. So there are some practically attractive uh, elements of getting rid of contacts and, and connectors in wireless charging. Sure, you can just just charge directly through a barrier yeah, that'll yeah, keep yeah. that seal in place for yeah, whatever so reason. The you idea want. of medical, yeah, they have a totally sealed thing that you just put into a bath and clean and take out again and, right. and reuse without and recharge without having to worry about the ports the connectors. And things yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's really about mostly about convenience, but I think there are some some applications that drive a practical benefit. To it. And uh, finally, just my my last question would be, you know, there are some other standards out there, like I know the Energizer, um, or the the Duracell, or whatever it is, those. Uh, you remember the, the brand name I'm talking about? I know what you mean. You know what I mean. Uh, there are other standards out there that are also making aggressive pushes into things like Starbucks and things like retail establishments, and that is still incompatible. The Qi is a totally <laughs> yes, different, it's standard. A totally different standard. So uh, is is there? There must be some element of competitiveness, uh, um, you know, within uh, with the standards pushers. I mean, is it is it something like where you feel like Qi is? in a good place relative to that. So I think we think she is in a very good place. Obviously, it is a new technology and there are some competing standards. Mm -hmm. So uh, Qi today is the only one that's out there which have products with integrated wireless charging built in. And I think it's very possible to do a back cover, which is where the comp competing technologies are today. But ultimately, the trick is to have the electronics built into the product so you don't have to buy your own separate skin for the for the technology to work. And I think that's where the WPC is at, is ahead, frankly, with, with the large number of members and also the large number of products that now have integrated wireless charging. Steve, thank you very much. This thank you very, very much. Enjoyable it. It. Thank, thank you very you. much. Once again, from CES 2013 in Las Vegas, thanks to Chi, thanks to Steve, thanks to everyone. Keep watching for a whole lot more coverage as CES rolls on. Thank you.